Welcome to Anna American Accent. This is a mini lesson on English vowels and why they sound so different. So something called the Great Vowel Shift happened around 14 to 1700, and all the long vowels changed. So what was before similar words or, or letters in other languages with the Roman alphabet ended up changing to sound different. The only problem was they didn't change the spelling. So you can see in words borrowed before the great vowel shift, how they changed from, uh, for example, dame to dame, table to table, but not garage or garage, which still sounds more like French, and we borrowed that much later. It was a domino effect where one letter changed pronunciation and it was like knocking down the position of another one. So a ah became e, eh, e, eh, e eh became e, e became i eventually. And it's interesting to see in other Germanic languages how the same word with at least a similar meaning in those languages is pronounced more like it used to be in English. Time, for example, Timme in Swedish is C today in English, C also in the other Scandinavian languages. Name probably was Name as in German, Name. And you can see in Scandinavian languages very similar in Nam, Nam. Day, Tak in German, Dog in Swedish. Norwegian and Danish with slightly different pronunciations. And then the word night is interesting because it's changed so much. We don't even pronounce the K anymore. Probably was more like knicked. And you can see a word more like a servant in German, knicht. And uh, in Danish, knecht. And knecht in Swedish and Norwegian which has to do with somebody who cares for horses, not an actual knight. So I hope you enjoy this little overview. And next time you worry about your pronunciation of English vowels, just remember it used to be pronounced differently. See you next time. If you like it, please subscribe.